This is the Modbus Simple program that services the four major types of mass flow meters we offer. We have thermal, and we see one pictured here, and as we change it, we'll see the 5100 series, which is a medium flow, low flow, a vortex, a Coriolis, and a mag meter. We will demonstrate the thermal flow meter as an example. What we do is, as we switch the tabs up here, the variables down here in blue, defining the Modbus COM slave address, which may be different for your meter, give you something to start with. With the thermal mass flow meter, we have some constants to enable you to read a single float. So if you read 200 command or register 200, four bytes, you should get one, two, three, four as a single float. 202 will get this as an I32, 204 will get an ABC string, and 206 will read the order of the um, CDAB or CDBA. So I'm going to read now. I'm going to click now. I'm going to read. I should read 123.4. Um, so I'm one way I can click latch, push this button down. Every 500 milliseconds, it's going to read a value. So now if I go to 202, doom, doom, 202 will read the number 123456 as an I32 and 204. Three, four, we'll read ABC slash zero, zero as a string, and 206 will read um, the byte order A, B, C, D. So that is uh, reading the actual flow is flow is 106, 106, and it'll read the flow in engineering units times 1,000. Next, I'm going to demonstrate the 5100. First, before going to the 5100, we must turn off what queries we we're making to the device we're on. Switch to the 5100. The device will show up here. The 5100, what we'll find easiest to read is the serial number, which is comprised of six bytes. And each one of the uh, bytes are defined here. Serial number, um, six bytes, slave address, flow rate, two and three. So I'm going to go first and read the serial, which is a constant. This is a good thing to see if you can get your Modbus to work. So I'm going to click. We're at COM26. Uh, BOD, all these are set. And we've got, we're in the... Uh, there's no PLC mode in this particular one, which those of you in. So I'm reading this. If I turn this to five bytes, you'll see it's live because the serial number goes away, as well as here's the string that represents the serial number. And then you'll see that the serial number star is hex 2A. So 47 is G, 34 is a 4, and then the star 2A. So, you, so this shows you how to parse uh, characters out. I'm now going to read, and as you change each one of these, you'll see what's, uh, let's see what's in, one of one byte, slave ID one byte is address. And the next one I can refer to here, two, I'm going to go to two with two bytes, two with two bytes, we'll read the flow, and the flow, if I play with this flow meter, We'll see the flow here. And reading the totalizer, notice the flow is a little funny here. Is The flow is the first value times 65, 536, plus the value, the whole mess divided by uh, 1,000. It's not the not your common CDAB or your IEEE um, methods of doing floats. I'm not going to show you the totalizer. The totalizer is 4, 5, 6, 3 bytes. So I'm going to... Choose three bytes and four, five, six. The totalizer is one eight five six one seven. You could look at the totalizer on the flow meter. It doesn't uh, show these digits, but I can uh, blow on the meter and increment the totalizer. So that is the. Uh, 5100, and I'm going to skip the Coriolis and Mag, or I'm going to just skip over to the Coriolis. They're all the same.
turn off the device. Now I'm going to go over to that device. As we select the other device, remember to shut it off. This is uh, this color when it's off. I'm going to turn the latch off. And now I'm going to go to Coriolis. When we'll see the Coriolis here, Coriolis has 9600 1 none 3x, which are all set 1, and I happen to be in slave ID 1. I'm going to read um, 1011, which is 1011 is the temperature. So we're going to read something that we know is a non-zero value, and that temperature is going to be in C. So I'm going to start, I'm going to click latch on, click this. It's going to read the temperature in degree C. You can tell how often you want to read it. And here is the, uh, the byte order. This byte order in IEEE 752 is A, B, C, D. The registers, and if we want to measure, measure the mass flow rate, we go to 4001, right? We have, um, let's look at something, total volume. This actually has some numbers in it, 407, because I didn't clear. So I'm going to go to, uh, to total volume 7. So I'm going to over to 7, and this, this here says it's register C, so 7. 7 to total volume flow. Now I set the reset the totalizer. So it's not reading any numbers there. Maybe this total mass flow is 3. There we go. We had a little in here. So this, um, you can use the up and down arrows. This is decimal. And uh, I'm going to show one more the mag meter. And I'm going to first turn this off. By the way, the Coriolis takes a little time to start up, has to get the DSP going and do the login. Once the Tactical Flow Meter logo is gone, it's ready to read. Latch off, turns off the meter. I'm going to go hook up the mag meter. The mag meter is, make sure this is off, switch to the mag meter, make sure the photo goes to the mag meter. And uh, we, we're going to start with 4118, which happens to be the um, conductivity ratio, which will be on the screen. And that's about 20, 2600, somewhere around there. Click the latch on. And we'll be reading the uh, number here, 2528. So the uh, registers are shown here. This is the method of extracting uh, the IEEE 752 manually. You can use the eight that uses ABCD, and I use IEEE 752. The codes for the units, you can read those as well. So that shows you the over overview how to use each type of flow meter. And this is like Modbus Poll. It's the free, easy-to-use method of reading the flow meter. Thank you very much.